Hey there, guys. What is going on? Shlalalalapi here, playing some more of the Vanilla Minecraft. Apologize if you can hear a fan going. It's incredibly hot in this room, and um, I refuse to turn off my fan, even if it means compromising the integrity of this audio quality. I stand by that decision. Anyway, welcome back. How's it going? Hope you guys are doing well. I don't know why I'm running in circles either. Last episode... I started to make uh, this super armor where you can put all sorts of protections and stuff on it, which is great. I'm really enjoying it, but apparently that is disappearing in the next update, which is supposed to be coming out soon. Uh, I guess they put it in and went, oh no, that's way too powerful, and decided to get rid of it, which is fine because uh, my plan was to make three sets of this armor, <laughs> and uh, I'm standing by that. I want to make three sets of sort of perfect armor. And then, you know, if we lose all three, then uh, we'll come back down to Earth. But anywho, that's also not what I wanted to focus on today. Today, I want to put a place to store all this armor. And, uh, yeah, I gotta pick a location. We're gonna build sort of a barracks of sort. And, um, yeah, it's gonna be pretty cool. I'm looking forward to it. The other thing... I gotta do is get some more diamonds. I actually don't have enough diamonds to make a third suit of armor. So I'm gonna start today by doing some good old-fashioned mining. You know, the first part of the name of the game. I have to do some mining, uh, which is a little unfortunate, because um, it's boring sometimes. But uh, yeah, am I? This is Silk Touch. I want Fortune. Fortune 3. Fortune 3 is great, because you can basically just mine to your heart's content, and it uh, will like heal itself, which is really cool. Get out of here, diorite. What do you even want from me, man? Uh, it's really cool. I like Fortune 3 when I'm mining. Let's uh, let's get going here. I don't know why I'm showing you guys all of this. I'll take a full stack. Let's put away all of this. Why, why am I carrying all this? That should be enough food. You know what? Let's grab some chicken while we're up here because I hardly ever use this chicken thing. I don't know. I never know how long I'm going to be mining for. Sometimes it's 10 minutes. Sometimes it's uh, longer. Let's grab a full thing of chicken. Wowzas! Optifying really is amazing. Let's, uh, bloop. Aw, this is loud. This is really loud. I didn't think this through. Not going to lie. This farm is terrible. Um, because... Uh, it picks up a lot of eggs, but it also, now that it's not on a timer, I forget that it's there. Also, it uh, burns most of the drops that it should be picking up. Anywho, let's move on, move past, move forward, because... Wow, this intro really got away from me. Uh, eventually, we need to build an actual mine, because right now, this is where I come to. So, I'm going to go mining. I'll see you guys in a bit. 45 minutes of mining later. Look at all these goodies. I found a uh, cave thing. It got all sorts of good stuff. Really cool. Uh, 34 diamonds. Not as many as I would have liked. But, you know, it's... Uh, it is what it is. There's still a lot of cave here. Uh, I just, you know, I feel like I've spent quite a bit of time here. And, you know, it feels, it feels about appropriate that now is the... I'm just trying to spy any extra diamonds... Uh, it feels appropriate. You know, I'll come back when I want to mine some more. Oh, that's gold. Too bad. Anyway, let's uh, head back into the village. I just happened to find my way back. Luckily, I put down this chest <laughs> to store some of these items. Ooh, I would not have found my way out of here. That's for sure. Diamonds? 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 No. Darn tootin'. Darn tootin'. Anyway, yes, I'll meet you guys back in the... I know what you guys are thinking. It blew up, didn't it? And the answer is yes. Yes, a creeper did see me and did blow up. But I fixed everything. And if I put slabs here, the XP takes a little bit longer to get to me. But, uh... Oh, no, the ones in the back can still see me. But the ones in the front can't anymore, and I think that's pretty big. I want to tell you guys something funny that happened. I have the sound off because they're very loud. Uh, I tried to open a pitcher to look at a thumbnail. So I, I had my thumbnails, you know, and, uh, as pictures on my hard drive. And I clicked it. And it took so long for Windows to open a pitcher that I forgot I'd even clicked it. Went back into Minecraft, walked forward to hit these guys. 
And my whole computer froze up because Microsoft still has no idea how to open photos in a timely manner. Why does it take so long? If any of you know anything about computers, how the heck can I open Minecraft faster than it takes to preview a photo? I do not understand why technology has not progressed. But anyway, I am blaming that death um, entirely. Entirely on... Uh, Three. Um, I also I got the repair disenchant thing down here. I forgot what it's called, but uh, so yeah, if a book's not good, I can sort of reset everything, which is really cool. Um, yeah, I had to redo everything down here. It's actually it was very quick to put back together. It's just more of an annoyance than anything else. <sighs> yeah, I don't know why does it, why would it take so long to open a photo? I do not understand Windows. Fix yourself. Why, hello. It's the next day, or maybe two days. I can't remember. It got so hot, I just turned off my computer and went to the beach. That's right, Toronto has a beach. We have a whole neighborhood called Beaches. It's actually just one beach, and you can't really go in the water because it's disgusting, but it's a really nice neighborhood. And uh, it's a pretty, pretty decent beach. Anyway, I figured out where I want to build this build, which is right here next to this portal. And, uh, yeah, I'm not really sure how big it's gonna be, but it's gonna be pretty big. Pretty big. Uh, anyway, let's just, uh, lay this out. I sort of have an idea for this build in my head. Uh, something like this, and then these sort of as pillars on the outside. Um, if you catch my drift, let's just... I... <laughs> that was terrible placement. Uh, yes, pillars on the outside. Something like this. Um, I'm sort of modeling it after. I built a tavern in Creativeverse. And I really like the build style. So I'm sort of picturing something like that. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. Oh... Uh... Yeah, you know what we could do is, let's make this be that height, and then we'll have sort of a pillar across. This is going to take a lot of wood. This is going to take a lot of wood, but that's fine. We, we've got wood, I guess. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, so it'd be something like this. This would be like the second floor, so one... Yeah, something like that is what I'm thinking. And this would be like the roof height. Yeah. Does that work? Uh, yeah, I think it'll look okay. I sort of want the three-dimensionalness that this sort of brings. Um, but yeah, this would be like... Well, yeah, so that would be, like, your window area. I need to get some more stone. I think I want to work with stone in this build. And, uh, yeah, I think that's how I'm going to do it. I think I'm going to get a structure up before I worry about anything else. This is basically just to store uh, weapons and things. So one of the things I definitely want is it to be kind of pretty secure. I don't want any mobs wandering in or villagers or anything. So we're going to make it, um, I think, pretty, pretty secure somehow. I don't really, I haven't thought that far yet. But I do like this design. I like sort of the logs coming out from it. I think it will be cool. And then we'll have the entrances on either end. Nothing on this side. Yeah, I kind of want it to stand out from the other buildings. Um, we're not going to use any of the orange. Because I kind of want it to look sort of almost government-esque. Which, you know, sounds awful. But it works. It'll be cool. Like sort of government office building-esque. But with a little bit more flair, perhaps. I'm just going to keep building now. Well, I think I got the size right. Uh, <laughs> sorry, I just, uh, that's the first time I've said that out loud. Um, I think I got the size of this place right. I really like sort of that structure. I think it'll fit really nicely into the space. Um, I was just using whatever blocks I had on hand. I'm going to switch those out. Uh, yeah, I think it's good. Um, I think I'm just going to build up the structure, completely leave the interior alone for now, but I really like sort of this design. I think it looks very sort of industrial or sort of just 
built in a way that's sort of like cheap and just sort of like that's how you throw up buildings quickly. Um, you know, if you go to Ottawa, my nation's capital, I was about to say our nation's capital, I realize a lot of you aren't Canadian, um, which is, you know, a shame for you, quite frankly. It's a beautiful country. But if you go to Ottawa, our nation's capital, um, you'll see a lot of buildings that are just as I described, just cheaply thrown up quickly. There's also a lot of beautiful buildings. There's an amazing art museum. Why am I hyping up Ottawa? I don't know. Either way, I got the dimensions right. Now I'm just going to sort of make the entire structure. I'm not entirely sure what to do with the front section here. Uh, it's a little bit different, but yeah, I'm going to uh, I'm going to put up the structure. I I this is 10 wide. This is 11 wide. I could make this 10 wide and go with the same design, but I or 11 wide. The thing is, I want like an entryway. You know what I mean? Um, so I'm not going to do that. But yeah, I'm just gonna I'm gonna build it now. It's quite tall, which is cool. It'll be uh, it'll be good in the space. I think I, I want more tall buildings. I, I've been sort of analyzing this place. I want more buildings that sort of stand out for height wise. Some variation. Well, 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 here we are with a structure in place. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. A structure in place. I, uh, I think I like it. Um, the roof is sort of not going to be visible. I'm going to do it sort of the layer below. I think it looks pretty good. I uh, differentiated the heights slightly just to sort of have a little bit of a difference between the two. Yeah, I think it looks good. It sort of uh, sticks out a little bit, which is cool. We're going to do, you know, a pathway up to it and uh, probably use, you know, some of these blocks. We get some of this block in there. I should try and get this block maybe in the build a little bit too. Um, anyway, yeah, I wanted this to look uh, this way and it does. That's cool. I should get some glass into it. Um, I think next up, I'm going to start the floor. I've got a staircase up and a staircase down, so we got plenty of sort of room to play with. And uh, it is so hot in this room right now. I apologize. I am uh, losing my mind slightly. This guy popped up. They have, like, the weirdest trades. I don't know, man. A lot of dyes. A lot of dyes. Anyway, uh, yeah. This is this room. This is this room. I guess I can show you the other small area. So now you know everything I know. Time to build more. I came over here to grab some dyes and check on my farm. It's uh, still running really well. There's actually one other thing I want to build in this area. We're not going to do it today, um, but I really want to get an automatic potion brewer for all the different potions. Um, I'm probably going to build it over on that island. Maybe even a... Because, uh, well, the reason I want to do it in this area is because we have these um, glass bottles being produced by the witch farm. So it seemed like an opportune place to put uh, some sort of potion potion brewing area. We've got the uh, automatic sheep farm, which is working an absolute treat. But yeah, I thought it would be really nice to have an automatic potion brewer. Because uh, some of the potions are really nice. It's like uh, fire resistance and strength and stuff. But yeah, somewhere over here, the other one I really want to try building is a tree farm using dynamite. Because dynamite, if you guys didn't know in 1.14, um, if you blow something up with dynamite, you keep all of the blocks now. Which is really, really cool. It allows you to build some really cool farms. <clears throat> Excuse me, my voice. <clears throat> oh, morning voice, hard. Happy Canada Day, by the way. I'm recording this little clip before I... Uh, well, I go and drink excessive amounts to um, celebrate the birth of my country, of which I'm very proud. You wear red, you go and sing O Canada, eat barbecue. It's a great day. But yeah, somewhere over here I think might be good for some sort of dynamite-based farm. I'm kind of using this area as like things that either make a ton of noise or I think might have a lot of lag. Yeah. But we got plenty of room, which is really exciting because we can put some, like, bigger farms. We have tons of room to play with. I've also kind of come to the conclusion that I don't particularly care what this area looks like. Like, yeah, we did a lot of decorating and stuff. But at the same time, like, you know, stuff can be kind of spread out and just sporadic. Anyway, let's um, head back. I came over here to get some dyes because we need to put some windows in our armory. But, uh... Yeah, we need to do something about all these torches, too. I just said I don't care how this looks, but I do. I want to get rid of all these torches. 
We got plenty more up top too. I kind of moved a bunch of these chests up there just to have a little bit of extra storage because we only got three chests worth down here. Anywho. Oh, dies, right. Um, I don't know what color glass I want. Don't know why I just did that. Don't know what color glass I want. Probably like a gray? Probably? So here's what our decision basically looks like. Gray is a little bit darker. It'll probably stand out a touch more. Light gray will probably blend in a little bit more in the actual build. It's all next to stone. Uh, I think I'm going to go with gray. Um, obviously, it's pretty easy to replace if we do not like it. But I think I'm going to go with gray. Um, so... Well, I'll just take it all. We can we can make more. It's no biggie. Uh, guess we can just stash that there. All right, time to head back, which is a little bit of a walk. A little bit of a walk. I do want to put an ice road between these areas. That is uh, something big. I've sort of set it all up. Loser. I've sort of set it all up. So we all we have to do is get the ice, and we're good to go. Um. But yeah, it's uh, quite a distance. Placing the last little bit of glass. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Let's go down. So yes, we got glass everywhere. It doesn't look great. I thought it would stand out a little bit more, but it looks okay-ish. There's a few more details I want to do. We got to... Uh, Get rid of some of the torches and stuff. I brought over some glowstone and uh, some carpets. Yeah, we got some decorating to do. The other thing is these are spawnable. These spaces on top of this wood. So there's a few things we could do. One of which is to just put carpet over it. Um, which wouldn't be totally noticeable. Those are probably the two colors that would match the best. Yeah, that light gray, actually. Uh, you can barely tell. So I'll put light gray carpet. That'll stop spawning, which is nice. Um, the other thing I brought over is some, like, fences. I was thinking maybe that's really cluttered. I'm thinking, like, maybe these could work somewhere. Just to add a little detail. Uh, no, I don't think those work. Maybe, like, in a different spot. They're a little chunky. If I could get them, like, not to connect, maybe, they would look a lot better. <laughs> if you guys know what I mean. Um, let's get rid of that. Maybe something like this. Just to sort of break up. Maybe, just to sort of break up the sort of monotony of this place. But we got some decorating to do on the outside, too. Um, I brought over some, like, slabs and some leaves. I have to go get some more leaves. But uh, just sort of some details to sort of, you know, just some, uh, just some like, leaves and stuff around the outside. Maybe some vines just to sort of make it look a little less plain. Blend it into the surroundings, perhaps, a little bit better. Um, yeah, it's a little bit close to the path on this side, which I'm not, like, hugely concerned by. It's more... Actually, yeah, that's got to be one back, because then we can see. Um, I'm not hugely concerned or anything by it being this close to the path. It's just we got to, like, blend it in a little bit more, um, I think. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some fences or something. These are, like, really, really scraggly. Yeah, I gotta go get some more leaves and stuff, though. And, um... Yeah, I think I'm gonna do the outside, and then we'll do the inside after. I'm also thinking maybe this could be a good spot to use scaffolding instead of stairs. So, like, here and here, we'd have scaffolding to go up and down, maybe. Could be kind of, like, cool. I just want to use, like, a new block, you know what I mean? Um, but yeah, I have plans for inside... It's going to be kind of different. I'll, I'll show you guys. I don't want to talk about it uh, because I, I want to focus on finishing up the outside first. But I think, uh, I think I've got a cool plan for the interior.
Well, 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 well. Let's go and see it. We can see it from a distance. It looks better. I don't know quite what more. I have to put the carpets up on the roof too, actually, now that I think about it. But yeah, it looks pretty good. Um, the carpets are kind of not noticeable, which is nice. I added these little touches just to sort of make it a little nicer, you know. I thought it uh, needed a little something, but it looks pretty good. Um, yeah, you can't see the lighting. There's quite a lot of carpet around it. I went a little, probably a little too much with the uh, green carpet, but yeah, I think it looks pretty good. Uh, I did over here as well, this area that grew. Let's see how it looks from over here. That looks really bad. I kind of wanted like a big tree there, but we'll probably just leave most of this little lake thing in because I kind of like it. I'll put another building on this side or something. But yeah, uh, the outside I think looks pretty good. It's um, you know nicely decorated. It's uh, got some detail. I think I'm getting server lag on not a server. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's really weird. Uh, yeah, I think I want to try... Um, Using scaffolding here instead of stairs, because, uh, I don't know, I think it might be kind of neat. So we'd go up and down like this. Yeah! I kind of like it. It doesn't really look quite right in the room, but I kind of dig it. I put lights in the ceiling. Uh, I think I'm going to spread them out. Well, no, I think I might leave them like this, and then we'd have one going down here as well. Um, yeah, I think it looks pretty good. I'm not unhappy with this. I think I'm going to raise this floor up. Um, so my idea is sort of upstairs is going to be um, not much of anything, to be honest. Like a bed up here. I don't know. I don't really have any ideas for upstairs. In here, I sort of want to have... Kind of like a few, uh, a set of every type of armor in the game. So, you know, you have leather, iron, chain, gold, diamond. Um, I kind of want to, like, display all the different types of armor, I think would be kind of neat. And then in the basement, I sort of want to have it a little bit safer because it's pretty darn expensive to uh, make this sort of god tier armor, whatever you want to call it. So down here, I want to keep our diamond stuff. I also might do some sort of dispenser system. So we have an emergency set. Because if you dispense armor onto a body, it'll automatically equip. So maybe something down there that's sort of a, you know, cool. Dispenses it onto your body and maybe also throw some potions at you or something. I don't know. Something down there. Anyway. Um, so yeah, I, I'm not exactly sure how we're going to do this interior, but something like that sounds pretty nice. Uh, at nighttime, you can see this area is pretty well lit. Um, so, that's that's good. I don't think mobs can spawn. I'm not entirely sure. I don't think mobs can spawn on path blocks, but I actually don't really know. Anyway, yeah, um, cool building. I really like the way it fits into our town. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I think I'm going to do the interiors in the next one, because this has taken a few days to record. I was uh, sort of bouncing around ideas and whatnot. But anyway, um, let me know what you think in the comments. If you have any ideas for what to do upstairs or whatnot, please let me know. Subscribe for more, all that jazz. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Ciao!